So you wanna brew better coffee at home. Well, one of the best ways to do that is buying a burr grinder for home use. But it can be a daunting task in which grinder you should buy. Well, in this video, I'm gonna break down two of the most popular burr grinders for filter coffee, the Brazza Encore and the fellow old brew grinder and tell you which one you should buy. Hi, welcome back. My name is Kyle. And regardless of if you're a coffee expert or you're just beginning into this whole craft of brewing coffee at home, I wanna help you brew better coffee and help you see coffee for more than just caffeine. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. And if this is a video that you're into and you're excited to learn more about grinders or things about coffee, hit that like button. It would really help out this channel. So in this video, I wanna dive into comparing these two coffee grinders. And in this video, I'm gonna compare their price and the specs. I'm also gonna compare the noise level that these grinders produce and then we're gonna do a sifting test as I've done in other videos to just show you the consistency that these grinders produce. And then at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you which grinder I would recommend to you and which one I would recommend you should buy. Now I'm really excited about this comparison and to be honest, I didn't wanna do it at first because Velo has announced that they're actually gonna be updating this grinder in this year of 2021 but those updates have been postponed and I didn't want to delay this comparison anymore. So this is going to be a comparison of the version one of the fellow old brew grinder. And if they update this grinder, I will re-release another video later on. The Brazza Encore is one of the most popular home brewing grinders of all time. This grinder is designed to make filtered coffee at home. In the past, when I did review the Bratz Encore, people pointed out to me that you can calibrate the Bratz Encore to produce espresso. Yes, that is true. But keep in mind, in these comparisons, I am considering that most people will not be calibrating and modifying their grinders. The Bratz Encore has 40 stops of adjustments for the burst set. It's got a 40 millimeter conical burst set. I do love the burst set on the Bratza Encore and I think for the price, it produces a fantastic cup of coffee. So let's talk about price. This grinder comes in at $150 American and you can sometimes find these grinders on sale. And for me, I think that's a great value for this grinder. I think that's about as little as you should be spending for a burr grinder to brew great coffee at home. The Bratz Encore is popular. It has been around for over a decade and it is amazing. There are no bells and whistles on this grinder. It's got an on and off switch. It's got its adjustable burrs. It's got a hopper. It's got its dosing bin and that's about it. It's tried and true and it's a great, fantastic burr grinder. On the other hand, we have the fellow old brew grinder over here and this is completely different than the Bratz Encore. This is fellow's first coffee grinder. And I'm really excited for what Fellow has created here for the first rendition of a coffee grinder. It is very unique and there's nothing else on the market like it. It's got 64 millimeter flappers, which is pretty unique. I love that Fellow has come out with a coffee grinder that has introduced flat burrs for a very affordable price. Now let's talk about price on the Fellow Old Brew Grinder. It comes in at $299 American. And for what it offers, I actually would say that that's actually a fairly decent price. Yes, $300 is a lot compared to the 150 that you're getting on the Encore, but I think it's a great option for people who wanna step up and want to spend a little bit more and get a little bit more refinement in a home grinder. Or maybe you're watching this video and you've already owned the Bratza Encore and you're wanting to step up to the next best thing. Well, let's dive into this video and I'll tell you if that's gonna be the case with this grinder. We have a dosing bin that is magnetic and I love this. I love the little details that Fellow has put on this grinder. Now I will say that this grinder is messy. Both of these grinders are messy. While Fellow has designed a dosing bin that is magnetic and is supposed to be static free with a knocker to knock out any retention in the grinder, my wife has actually stopped using the Ode in our home because of the mess that it creates. Now that being said, I've talked to the founder of Fellow and they have said that they are creating a brand new catch bin for the Ode Brew Grinder. In one of my past videos, which I'll link above, I talked about how they're releasing new burrs and a new catch bin for the Fellow Ode. That was supposed to be released in February of 21, but now that's being pushed back to the summer of 21. Now the nice thing with the Fellow Ode, it is compact. I mean, you can see here, it is a small grinder. And what Fellow has done is actually laid the motor horizontally instead of vertically, which is very unique for a grinder of this price point. And I like that because it's easy to fit under most countertops. Most countertops don't have an issue with depth. Most countertops have an issue with height. And so Fellow's kind of addressed that. It's very heavy, it's very hefty. This is an all metal build where the Bratza Encore is a plastic grinder. And so this is where you're gonna see the difference in the money that you're spending. You know, you might be watching this video saying, is it really worth double? Well, that comes down to you. What is money to you? And 
Do you wanna spend this much money on a coffee grinder? If not, this is a great option for you, but this has so many different little bells and whistles. It's got 31 adjustments of grind settings, and we're gonna talk more about this in this video because while that might seem like a lot, it hasn't been for me. We'll come back to that. It's got a single dosing hopper, which I really appreciate. Well done, fellow. I will give you props for that. I love that. Other features like an auto off feature and a PID motor, which will recognize when there's no tension in the burrs and it will shut off the motor. And then, I mean, you can talk about aesthetics. Now, this grinder only comes in matte black as in fellow fashion, releasing all their products in matte black first and releasing other colors later on. So by the time you're watching this video, there may be other colors available, but at the time of recording, there's only matte black. And I think that fellow has just killed it in the design department of this grinder. Again, this is personal and this is subjective, but I love the design of this grinder. It definitely looks like a more expensive grinder that you find in cafes shrunk down into a little compact home grinder. So again, I don't have any issues with either one of these grinders for an aesthetic point, but if I had to give the point for aesthetics, I'd give it to the fellow oat. So a question I get all the time on Instagram is flat burrs versus conical burrs. Which one is best and which one do I prefer for taste? And to be honest with you guys, it's sometimes really hard to tell. I think there's been too much weight over the years put into flat burrs versus conical burrs. I think really what we should be challenging is just the flavor profile that that burr set produces because two flat burrs can have completely different flavor profiles. And I think sometimes we put too much emphasis and that grinder has flat burrs and that one has conical burrs. So I'm gonna go with the one with the flat burrs. At the end of the day, from my experience in testing dozens of grinders over the years, the flat burr is a great option, but conical burrs can be great. I love my niche zero. It's got a great burr set and it's a conical burr set. So for this comparison, we're not gonna compare them by flat versus conical, but rather the flavor profile that they produce. And this is where it gets very interesting because the fellow old brew grinder produces a very excellent cup. Bratza Encore was one of the first grinders I ever bought. Flavor profile that it produces for the price, unmatched in my opinion. But on the fellow old, there is a distinct difference in flavor. But here's the catch in all this, and this is where it gets really interesting. The fellow old has a hard time grinding fine enough for certain certain coffees. And this is something that I've talked about in my other videos. Fellow Oat in its current state, in its current version with the current burr set is really tough to brew every single coffee with. In fact, some coffees that I brew with, I have to use my niche because this just doesn't go fine enough. Brewing cups in less than two minutes and they just do not taste quite good enough for me. But that being said, the coffees that work with this grinder right now are fantastic. And I prefer the flavor profiles on this Fellow Ode to any other grinder that I own. The clarity on the Fellow Ode is unmatched. This one is twice the price, but I do prefer the taste profile for the Fellow Ode. Okay, now we're gonna dive into a sift test and we're gonna test the volume of these grinders. And then I'm gonna talk more about which grinder you should buy. And also we're gonna compare the consistencies on these two grinders. So I used my phone with an app on my phone about the same distance away from each grinder that was about a foot away. And this one maxed out at about 85 decibels and this one maxed out about 91. Now keep this in mind that this is an app on my phone and not a true decibel meter, but we use the same app, same phone for both grinders. And the sound on this grinder actually sound a little bit better than the Bratz Encore. The Bratz Encore kind of has this like metal on metal plasticky sound where the fellow Ode has a very beefy, quick, punchy motor. The only thing I don't love and fellow take this for what you will is we don't need a beep when we know that the grinder is done. I think it just adds extra volume that isn't necessary. Maybe I'm nitpicking here, but that's what the point of this video is. So today we're gonna use the crew sifter and this is a great tool. And ultimately it'll tell me the consistency for each grinder. All right, so I've ground both of these coffees and put them through the sift test and I'll put the results up on the screen so that you can see them. Will they be grinders much more expensive than them? Well, not really, no. But I will say the fellow old came in very consistent. I think this grinder produces fantastic results, but I had to use such a coarse setting on the Encore just to match that of the Ode, which kind of skewed the results that everything is a little bit more on the coarse side. They're a little bit more than that 800 micron range. So which grinder do I prefer and which grinder do I recommend to you? Well, this is where things get very interesting for me because while I'm saying the Ode has a lot of issues and it should grind finer, you would think I would say the Encore, but I'm not. 
I think what Fellow has done is created a fantastic grinder with a few issues for its first release. And I think this year we'll see some upgrades for this grinder to make it even better. Depending on when you're watching this video, if the updates for the Ode are out, I would say grab the Ode if you can spend the extra money. But if you wanna save some money, you want an awesome home grinder that can do the job yesterday and last you for years to come, I think the Encore is a great option. The Encore can't be denied as one of the best home grinder options ever. And so if you're watching this video and you want a great option, maybe one of your first grinders ever, and you're really debating between these two, try out the Encore. It'll definitely get your feet wet and get you into brewing coffee at home and doing it very, very well. You'll have no issues with this grinder. Both of these grinders, I'll link down below if you wanna check them out. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Again, if you're new around here and you want more videos on coffee, I've done many coffee grinders and many more videos to come. Be sure to subscribe, it would really mean a lot. And hit that like button if you learned anything from this video, it would really help this video out. In the meantime, continue to brew great coffee and continue to brew at home. Peace, we'll see you next time.